Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for the Alignable Stronger Together webinar. Uh, we'll be starting in just about uh, two minutes or so while we wait for other people to join. Okay, perfect. Why don't we get started now? Yeah, so I just want to start off by saying welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am so incredibly excited to have you here. Uh, I just want to take a second to introduce myself. My name is Phil. Uh, I'm the product marketing manager at Alignable. Um, I started at a very small business myself, uh, joined Alignable in 2017, uh, and have been passionate about small business pretty much my entire life. I uh, grew up in a very small town with a lot of small businesses, and so I know how important it is. We'll be covering a lot today. First up, I'll talk about what is Alignable. That's probably a lot of a question that's on a lot of your minds. And then once we know what Alignable is, I'll share kind of three steps to getting more referrals on Alignable. They're really, really simple steps uh, that everyone should be able to complete kind of before the end of this week. Then I'll give you some next steps on what to do next after, after you complete those three steps. Uh, and then if I do my job correctly, we'll have more than enough time to do some questions and answers. And you can try to stump me with your toughest questions and I'll be here for it. All right, so starting with what is Alignable? Many of you probably received an invite from a colleague or maybe someone in their chamber recommended it. And you may not have a full grasp of how big Alignable is or what you can do on Alignable. So simply put, Alignable is the referral network for over 4.5 million small businesses. And you may ask, why referrals? Why are, why are we talking about referrals on Alignable? Well, in a study of over 5,000 small businesses, we asked, where did most of your customers come from in the last three months? The options were all across the board. Uh, print marketing, social media, cold calling, uh, advertising, so on and so forth. And 85% reported word of mouth referrals as their number one source of customers. And we were blown away. It was shocking. 85% of small businesses are relying on something they can't buy. You know, when you when it comes to referrals, the best you can do is do a really great job for your customers and do a really great job for your clients and hope that, hey, if anyone ever turns to them for Hey, do you know a great marketer? They say, oh, I should talk to, you should talk to Phil. And it's kind of scary, right? So 85% of small businesses rely on something that they have limited control over. And we're here to fix that. I like to use this equation to really make it easier uh, to understand kind of how a line of will fits in. Um, so we have words plus mouths equal referrals. And simply, words are the things that people can say about your business. So it's, hey, Nick is really great at his job. Uh, Nick is an amazing accountant, and I would trust him with my life if I had to. And then the mouth, so the people that would say it. So those happy customers, your colleagues, your friends, your family, anyone that is willing to put their name on the line to recommend your business. And when you add those two things together, you get referrals. So new customers coming in purely on the power of your network. How does Alignable fit into that situation? Well, it's actually quite simple. We help you bring a network together, a combination of both people you know and people you wanna meet. We then enable you to foster relationships with these business owners, staying top of mind with the latest about your business. And then finally, we make it easy to send, ask for, and exchange referrals with those in your network. And it doesn't matter what industry you're in or what types of referrals you're looking for. There are alignable members in pretty much every industry. We have members in real estate, health and wellness, contracting, finance, business services, shopping and retail, marketing, arts, food and beverage, automotive and transportation. And that is just the top 10 of nearly 2,000 categories on Alignable. Pretty much if you name it, we've seen it. I've actually, um, early on, I helped a chimney sweep uh, and actually a professional cuddler build a strategy that they can use on Alignable. And it's not just business owners. It's actually anyone who's connected to the small businesses. Maybe it's employees at small businesses or, or contractors or anyone that just works with SMBs, anyone that's part of that ecosystem and helping them grow. And that's Alignable. And so at this point, you know that A, 
Alignables for getting more customers through the power of referrals. And B, Alignables for businesses like yours. And at this point, you may be wondering, Phil, this all sounds great and all, but how does it actually happen? Well, it boils down to these three simple steps. It starts with building a profile and increasing your business's visibility online. Then you can build a referral network of both people you know and people you want to get to know. And then finally, you'll actually exchange referrals with these people. And over the next 10 minutes, 20 minutes or so, I'll be covering each of these steps one by one. And so step one, building a profile. Before we really dive in, I want you to consider these two profiles. They're, and I want you to ask yourselves, which of these two businesses would you click on if you're looking for a CPA? Which of these two businesses would you be most comfortable sending to your customers? Many of you, and rightfully so, are saying A, and you're absolutely correct. This profile on Alignable is way more than just explaining what you do. This profile is actually a center for all your referral activity. It's how others will assess if they want to work with you. It's in fact how most will actually refer you. And it's filled with ways for you to demonstrate your trust as a business owner to make those things easy. And also, as an added bonus, it's actually full of things that you can do to boost your visibility online. And so getting back to this equation here, your profile is very much the words part of it. It's it's filled with things that you want other people to say about you, what you want your customers that trust you to, to be bragging about. And luckily, the profile is actually super simple to set up. Uh, and so I'm going to ask you to focus on these three parts. And they're super simple. Again, you can do it in less than 10 minutes. It starts with a logo and a headshot. So there's 4.5 million small businesses on Alignable. Your logo is definitely the thing that will help you stand out and get recognized. And if you don't have a logo, no worries. Many on Alignable don't. Uh, so they end up using a headshot. Or if you don't have a headshot, just use a selfie. That's perfectly fine. Anything that you feel like represents you. And if, if you don't feel comfortable with uploading a logo or uploading a selfie or a headshot, no worries. There's actually tens of thousands of photographers and graphic designers that would be more than happy to help you out. And once you have that logo in place, you're ready to work on your About Us. And this About Us is your chance to tell your story. Explain who you are. What makes you different from the competition? Why should others refer you to customers? The best about us actually tells that story. And with that in place, you're ready to move to my favorite part of the profile, which is your ideal customer. This is so key to getting referrals on Alignable. This is your chance to specifically ask for what types of referral you're looking for. It's incredibly helpful in that regards. You can be as specific as possible. I actually recommend being as specific as possible. You can say, hey, I'm an accountant. And I may say, I'm looking for referrals to retail store owners who sell both online and offline who are really stressed about taxes now uh, this time of year. And that does so much for your network to know, oh, looks like Phil's trying to meet some retail store owners. I know a handful of them. I'm going to see if I can make an introduction. And by completing those three steps, you improve your referability. Again, remember those two profiles we looked at. You also let others know the types of referrals you're looking for and make it easy for them to send referrals. And finally, you actually boost your visibility online. Having a great profile helps you stand out on Alignable and off Alignable. So even during the busy time of the year and you can't get on Alignable, your Alignable is going to be doing work for you by helping you stand out in places like Google search results, Bing, Yahoo, so on and so forth. And so with this profile in place, you're actually ready for step two. And this is where things get really interesting. So we're going to go back to our, my friend Nancy here. Nancy was the, the, the example that I used in the, in, the, in the profile. And Nancy is a CPA from Schenectady, New York, my hometown. Nancy has this core network of clients and customers 
that have turned into advocates for her because she's really, really good at her job and her customers are more than happy to put their name on the line for her. And so when it comes to referrals, she kind of has to wait. She kind of has to wait for her network to come across those opportunities to refer her. She's not actively staying top of mind with them. She's just kind of doing the best that she can do and hoping that, hey, when that time comes around, they remember her and they are you know, willing to, to stick their neck out for her. Or on the other hand, she can actually reach out to one of them and do that really awkward thing of asking for referrals. I know I hate doing it. I know many, many of our small business members hate doing it because, you know, it's tough, right, to, to rely on a customer like this and say, hey, any chance you could refer me to a retail store owner if you know anyone? And maybe they do, and maybe they can make that introduction. And that's one new customer for Nancy. Where Alignable comes in is we help her stay connected with all of that network at once. And not only that, we actually open the door to their networks as well. So anytime Nancy is trying to stay top of mind, her network is actually helping her meet new people. And so let's go back to this equation again. Remember the words plus mouths equal referrals. The words are that profile we just talked about. The mouths are those people who are willing to share that profile to new customers for you. And it all boils down to a network. And there's really two good ways to build this network on Alignable. And number one, you should definitely start in, by importing your address book and find those on Alignable that you already know. It only takes a few seconds, and it's by far the fastest way to fill your network with people you, you already know and trust, and they trust you, and they can refer you to customers. After that, you're free to go to places like Search or My Network to meet new people that can be added to this new referral network. You know, connect with those businesses you want to meet. What I recommend actually on these two pages is to find some businesses that complement yours. So if you're an accountant, you may want to connect with an attorney or other business services. If you're a retail shop owner, connect with some retail stores in your neighborhood or maybe even a hair salon. Think about those new opportunities once you build that relationship with them. And it can all start with a simple connection. And when you connect with these people on Alignable, we keep them up to date on your business. So anytime something new is happening, whether it's a new promotion or a new service or a new recommendation or you're connecting and you're growing your network, we'll keep them up to date on what's happening. We also let them know the types of referrals you're looking for. Remember what we talked about. This is your chance to ask for the referrals that you want. And we'll send that out to anyone that you connect with. And then finally, we make it easy for them to refer you. They have access to your profile. They can see what types of referrals they're looking for. They can look at their network and say, oh, well, it looks like Nancy looks like she wants to meet some retail store owners. I have five in my network. Maybe I'll write her a recommendation or maybe I'll just forward out her profile to them and see if I can make that connection for Nancy. And if you follow those two steps, you're now ready to exchange referrals. And this is where the magic happens. So again, words plus mouth referrals. We talked about words being your profile and what you share. The mouths being the network that you build on Alignable that's willing to share that profile. And finally, the referrals. So new customers, new pieces of advice, new places to look for customers, all coming down to referrals. So let's go back to Nancy. Nancy has a number of different ways to get referrals on Alignable. And it's actually easy as if we just talk about how Nancy gets referrals. Well. Here's one way. Nancy adds, logs into Alignable Weekly. And when she has a new promotion, she'll go to her profile and she'll add it. We then take that promotion and share it with all of her community. So she's in Schenectady. There's around uh, 12,000, uh, 1,300 members in Schenectady. And we will share that new promotion out to them alongside her ideal customer. So for example, it looks like Nancy has a promotion for free tax prep. I, I can then see, oh, well, Nancy is trying to meet retailers. I can take that event and actually either give it a like or actually refer it or share it to those people that she wants to reach. And when you like something on Alignable, we let that network know. And it's a really nice, easy way to, to kind of help out your neighbors, help out your community uh, in sharing those things uh, with those businesses you know and trust. And with those three things... That creates some referral magic for Nancy. Nancy got, got a new way to promote her business. And 
she was able to get those events in front of her network who were more than happy to share it with their network. Another way Nancy could get a referral on a wine bowl, she starts by connecting with her neighbor. So it looks like in Schenectady, she has uh, Northeastern Fine Jewelry, highly recommended. They have 26 recommendations on Alignable, which is really great. And then we share her ideal customer with them. So they connect, maybe they send a few messages, we'll send the ideal customer over. And then maybe after a few meetings over coffee or maybe a phone call, the neighbor may be willing to recommend her to their network, increasing Nancy's reach even further. And so when you think about each connection that you make on Alignable, it's not just that individual. You're connecting with them and their entire network. And so it's a really great way to just build a network that's going to do more work for you. And again, that's referral magic on Alignable. So let's do one more. Nancy heads on over to the Q&A forum and she finds a industry question. So this is a question from actually her customer. It's someone in retail who is looking for if there's any tax benefit for donating her uh, their surplus of products. And Nancy, said, since she's been a CPA for over 10 years, knows exactly the right answer. And so she's able to answer that with, yeah, of course, that's a really great idea and here's how to do it. And then we notify her network that, oh, Nancy answered this question about taxes? And her network may turn around and say, oh, Nancy really knows her stuff. And if they haven't worked with her before, maybe they should. Or if they have worked for her, maybe they, she's now top of mind again. And it all goes back to that network we talked about. And so when these referral opportunities, which happen all the time on Alignable, people asking, hey, does anyone know a good CPA that specializes in retail? All of her network is now like, oh, well, I guess I remember Nancy answering that really great question the other day. Um, why don't I see if I could just forward that along to, to my friend Caro here uh, and help her out? And that is referral magic for Nancy. And so just remember, on Alignable, it's not all about getting referrals. It's about giving referrals as well. And if you recommend your neighbors that you know and trust, and if you introduce them to new referral opportunities, they will be way more likely to do the same for you. And so let's recap. Step one, we built a profile and shared what we want others to share about us. Step two, we built up a network of people who may want to share it. And step three, we created the content that, that kept us top of mind with our network. It made it easy for us to get referred to our ideal customers. And through those three steps, we can really create some referral magic. Okay. So hopefully I've given you some actionable next steps on how to get started getting referrals on Alignable. But if you got some information overload, here's what you should do now. One, you should go work on your profile. Again, it only takes about 10 minutes. And trust me, if, if you never log in Alignable again, I really hope that's not going to be the case. But if you never log into Alignable again, at least your brand is being represented on a place where thousands are searching for new vendors every single day. So it's a really great opportunity there. Then I'm going to have you import your address book and connect with those you know. So when you import your address book, we match it against all the businesses already on Alignable, as well as our massive uh, database of small business owners. Uh, and we'll show you those that are on Alignable that you can connect with and show you those that are off Alignable. And if you want to, you can invite. You don't have to, but you can. Next, I'm going to have you connect with a handful of businesses you don't know yet. Think of these businesses that are in your community that maybe you haven't talked to the business owner yet. And it's a really great opportunity for you to introduce yourself and say hello and start to build on that referral relationship. Who knows? Your next connection may be the source of your next 15 referrals. And finally, send out a few referrals for those businesses you know and trust by writing a great recommendation on their profile. 